The 200 free relay is one of the most entertaining events in swimming. It takes less than 1 minute and 20 seconds for 4 swimmers to each swim a 50, with the distance between 1st and 2nd sometimes a hundredth of a second. In 2013, the Seminoles have one of the best 200 free relays in the country and hope to prove it this week at the NCAA Championships. We've been, we know we've been training all year for you know the opportunities from really fast NCAAs and you know, we're all excited it's in the last two weeks. Paul Murray, Trice Bailey, David Sanders and Mark Weber have been together for two consecutive seasons which is one of the main reasons they have been so successful. We don't have to worry about it quite so much because we've done it off the same guy for two years now and we know we know how they're going to finish, we know the timing coming in and it's almost second nature to just be able to go off of that person and really have a really great takeover. Despite the fast paced race, there is still a lot of strategy involved in how you stack the relay. My job is kind of to get us as close to a lead or as much of a lead as possible. It's kind of just to have the fastest reaction time and get my hand to the wall first. I mean, whatever lead he gets, because he's usually right up there at the top or if, you know, right there with him, just kind of hang on and uh, bring it in for David to, to hop into clean water and finish it off. Usually the third leg is where, you know, the weakest swimmer is. And, you know, on a national level, there's not, you know, to compete for a national championship, you can't have a weak leg. And, you know, we all know that. and. You know, I know that as long as I'm swimming fast enough to get Weber in, in first, it'll be game over. <laughs> Coach Andy likes to say, you know, just go primal. And I think that's pretty much what my job is on the relay. And whether we're fifth or first, it's swim as fast as you possibly can and outsplit everybody else in the pool and just, just bring it home. Now the goal is becoming the first swimmers to earn national championship honors since Brandon Dedekind in 1999. But to put their names on that distinguished list, they know it will take a tremendous effort. Fast. Perfect <laughs> race. It's going to have to be under, under 16, I think. But I think, I think all three teams are capable of being that fast. And I think um, you know, the, the team that hits that perfect race on that, perfect, on that day is going to be the one who wins. Despite great competition, these four swimmers know when they are at their best, they can compete with anyone. To have these guys that you practice with all the time and you have fun with joking around in practice and they're the meet and then to get up and race with them you know that you know everybody's going to do do their part and you're going to win the training is done and race day is almost here so the four swimmers will know soon enough if they have what it takes to etch themselves in the history books as champions lanehurtseminoles.com